but having the scenarios in mind and having an agreement as an industry on what the opportunities look like. So let's go ahead and, and start the story uh, that I prepared. just wants to talk to you. That's it. Now you're going to keep this to yourself, aren't you? Oh, misto, skinny half and half. Thank you. And a macchiato, double full straight into your belt. Ah, perfect. Oh, no, allow me. You got the last one. Laz, he wants to know why we're late. Mm -hmm. He'll survive. <laughs> I need my coffee. No kidding, man. Coffee before work. Ah, coffee. Let's go, team. Oh, don't mind if I do. So good of you two to join us. There was a line. Hey, McGowan. Yeah? Old lady tall. Yeah? I thought you were cutting back. I am. It's half and half. I never get used to this time. Anyway, let's get going. Merchant Marine got whacked last night down at the docks. Victim's name, Alejandro Rivera. Proven passport. No apparent motive. He obviously annoyed somebody. Yeah, that'll be all for now. We'll check it out. I'll call it up here on the map here. Like you can see here, wallet PCs, mobile displays. Oh. Good to have you drop in. Morning, Bill. Hey, guys, what's up? Oh, you know, chasing the bad guys. Some things never change. Well, I never the promised the future would be neat and clean. Looks like you've got a tough one on your hands. Yeah, it could be. Well, we got to get going, Bill. See you later. Uh, don't forget, let's be careful out there. Let's go. Well, one thing we can see that hasn't changed between the uh, Twin Peaks scenario I did four years ago and this one is that uh, lots of people are still drinking coffee up in Seattle. <laughs> well, first we saw uh, Becca, uh, the policewoman, using her little wallet PC in order to buy uh, the latte there. And so this little small business uh, person who's got the coffee stand uh, has a display, and she was simple, simply able to push a few buttons and transfer currency over to them. Uh, we call it the wallet PC because it's capable of really replacing everything that you carry with you and more. So that getting messages, uh, seeing the latest news, uh, uh, seeing a different location, keeping track of your schedule, keeping uh, hundreds of pictures of your children uh, stored there, all of those things are easily possible with, with this kind of technology. Now here she used just the infrared uh, to transfer the currency across using a secure protocol. 
And so it's easy to think of this as simply a grown-up pager uh, that will cost only a few hundred dollars, but using the latest chip and display technology will have the kind of power uh, that she's showing here. The next thing we saw was the flat panel display in the vehicle. This means that mobile workers of all types will be able to collaborate together, call on expertise throughout the world, bring them up, and not just see their face, but look at information like the video we play here uh, and uh, data banks that will be at their disposal. Uh, the advance in display technology is a big part of this because in order to carry them around uh, and use them in the way that we use paper today, they'll have to be small and light and very high resolution. One of the things we called up on this display was a map uh, that let us see exactly where we were. Uh, you could see on this map the different uh, police cars around the city, the traffic conditions, and a map will be pervasive in all these applications where you're seeking out a store or a hotel or a restaurant. Uh, you'll be able to get uh, uh, guided along the way in a very straightforward fashion. And so it's just one data type uh, that people will be familiar with uh, and they'll, they'll come to expect uh, in all the interactions they have. Well, let's go back and see how this uh, story unfolds. Hi, honey. You been up long? A little, uh, a little bit. You had your breakfast? Yeah. Well, me now. Okay. Police have identified the victim as Alejandro Rivera, a Peruvian sailor whose ship docked in Seattle early yesterday morning. Rivera was Aren't you supposed to be working on your report for world cultures? Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. This is not it. Yeah. Turn it off. Thank you. Is that a nice look, Mom? Oh, don't even start. I have a video <laughs> conference later today. They can only see this. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. keeps in touch by email, but some people have never actually met their closest confidant in person. Today, partners in cyberspace meet face-to-face -face for the very first time. Will their relationship survive human contact? We'll talk about it on today's Open. Next. November 14th, 2004. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. I'm Harry Smith. Good morning. I'm Paula Zahn. This morning, the latest on the transition at the White House. We're going to be taking a close look at the president-elect's plans for the nation and learn why she says it is time for a change. We'll also let you check out two hot new movies, and Mark McEwen's going to show us if it's going to be hot anywhere today. Good morning. Sorry, Harry. Bad news. Not a pretty picture. I'll be back with the whole sad story for you in just a few minutes. Or click those buttons right now for my national forecast. Or a look at your local weather. Oh, come on. We need a little when is this project due, actually? Like? Uh, tomorrow, fifth period. Oh, I love you. Jackson. I know, I know, but I want us under pressure. You know, if you just learned to plan your time a little bit better, you wouldn't have to do everything at the last minute. I know. Right now, we're going to look at this morning's choices for you on CBS This Morning. An in-depth look at the incoming administration. Is the first husband in line for a cabinet? Seriously, post? Jackson, are you going to be able to get this done? Yes. On time? Yes. Where our money editor, John Stair, takes you to a restaurant that is actually cheaper than eating at home. Ten just need some more. The some real that the other kids can actually Jesus touch. The new comedy, I'm just dead. Or the interactive hit, Jurassic Park 6.1. Yeah. For years now, you've heard me talk about ways to save money by doing things yourself. But when it comes to lunch in Gates Sweet. Center, Kansas, you're much better off leaving it to Franny. Everyone wonders how she does it. Yeah, like that. 